Indian drone maker Idea Forge has secured a 100 crore rupees Indian Army order for its new Jolt Tactical UAV and improved Switch V2 Tactical Infantry drones. The DRDO has developed a new generation of man portable autonomous underwater vehicles for mine countermeasure missions that uses multiple compact AVs equipped with side scan sonar and underwater cameras to detect and classify mine like objects in real time. India has begun large-scale deployment of satellite navigation jammers and spoofers, extending protective coverage around major strategic installations metros and key industrial hubs, with the shield now reaching deep into central and eastern India. India has replaced its Cold Start Doctrine with the newer Cold Strike Doctrine. The Cold Start depended on rapid mobilization for limited offensives. But the Cold Strike centers on proactive deterrence through real-time intelligence, information dominance, cognitive disruption and precision targeting, deterring escalation by showcasing credible ready multi-domain capabilities. The Indian Army's Gajraj Corps has operationalized an indigenous monorail system at 16,000 feet in the Kamang Himalayas, marking a major breakthrough in high-altitude logistics. Chennai-based Amber Wing has unveiled a new indigenous combat drone capable of carrying six mortar shells of 4 kilograms each, giving Indian forces rapid precise firepower over hostile terrain. India has issued no time warning for a designated range of 630 kilometers for a naval firing exercise in Arabian Sea. Israel is aggressively bidding for India's 30,000 crore rupees tender for 87 male UAVs, offering full transfer of technology and complete local manufacturing of the Heron Mark II. The Ministry of Defense has issued an RFI for the procurement of 100 new aircraft self-protection jammer pods for Su-30 fighter jets, and deliveries will be completed within 36 months. After Turkey blocked the delivery of three Apache helicopters to India, defense analysts have urged the Indian government to retaliate by denying Turkish arms shipments transit over Indian airspace, especially those bound for Bangladesh. The Indian Air Force has formally asked the Ministry of Defense to procure 114 Rafale fighter jets directly from France through a government-to-government -government deal, effectively shelving the long-delayed 114 MRFA contest. India's biggest demand is full access to the Rafale's core avionics, so that India can independently integrate indigenous weapons, but France is cautious due to intellectual property and export control rules. A possible phased plan is being discussed, that includes limited access by 2027, and full flight control computer control after 2035. The Indian Air Force has quietly upgraded the Gwalior Air Force Station into a fully raffle ready base, adding hardened shelters, expanded apron space for 20 fighter jets, and new maintenance hangars under a 1,200 crore rupees upgrade completed by mid-2025. Its central location will enable rapid deployment across northern and western fronts. The modernization prepares the base for future Rafale inductions, with the first squadron expected by end of 2028. BrahMos Aerospace has fast-tracked the Mach 4.5 BrahMos X upgrade with improved ramjet and advanced composites to meet the 2026 deadline. The Mach 4.5 version will feature a more efficient high supersonic flight profile, and is being readied for both Su-30 and the cooler class platforms, as adversaries are inducting air defense systems that are rapidly adapting to Mach 3 threats. Today's Top 3 Comments